Yeah, there's no litter box back there. It's actually a cardboard cutout. Yeah. Here, I'll dump it out to <laughs> show you. <laughs> create create a big problem for me later. <laughs> um. So, hello and welcome to this episode of My Neighbor Mothman. I am yeah. Levi. I'm Zachary. There's a weird, there's going to be a weird vibe with these next two. Yeah. Uh, I, I accidentally tripped, I accidentally tripped and fell before these. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, as, as these two episodes go on, that's going to become more glaringly evident. He's real clumsy today. Real clumsy. <laughs> real clumsy for it to be 11. Yeah. Um, okay, so today I've got, uh, two, two to talk about, as, as I usually do, because I like to bring a, a pair. Um, so the first is a plant, and the second is a humanoid-ish thing. Which one would you prefer to start with? How large is the plant? How long do you let it grow? Is the is the real problem of the plant? Well, that how much care does it need? Not any. Not any. Then it no. grows forever. Yeah, yeah. Potentially grows forever. Definitely grows forever. Yeah. So, so that's what what's what's max size on this thing? Uh, house size. Okay, give me the humanoid first. All right, cool. So first up, we're going to be talking about uh, Aisha Candisha, uh, which is a... Oh, Steph's wife. Is a... <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not Steph's wife. Uh, is a mythological creature from Moroccan folklore. Um, oh, okay. Uh, similar to Jin, but more distinct personalities. Uh, typically beautiful young woman, but has the legs of a goat or a camel. Oh, it's like Mr. Tumnus, but hot. Yeah. Um, descriptions vary from region to region within Morocco, but she generally lives near water sources and is said to use her beauty to seduce local men and kill them or drive them mad. the hustle so i learned about this from uh the destination truth show because and the only the whole time they're out there they went to a casbah looking uh looking for and um the whole time it was just who's gonna do the rock the casbah joke from that song and it's just tension the entire time of them not making the joke until somebody finally goes fine we'll do it it was, it was pretty solid. Um, so near, yeah, nearly all accounts identify her home as near a body of water. Um, in Tangier, it's uh, thought to be the sea. There's a river in Tetuan. There's a drainage canal. Tatooine. No. <laughs> Uh, in Star Wars? Star, yeah, they're in Star Wars. Probably, probably, there's probably a character similar in Star Wars. Let's be real we here. Can, we can't get into Star Wars. Um, some more localized beliefs uh, include that she's afraid of steel knives and needles, and that she has a husband or male associate. Uh, who is uh hemu kwayu all right man there's a lot of, there's a lot of l l letters that don't normally go together for me in that in that name um let's see where else but basically so basically it's sort of this succubus uh lady who 
pulls you out into the desert <laughs> with camel legs. Is 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 the TLDR on this? Yeah. Um, also, sidetrack. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I've got a billion dollar idea. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember if we talked about this last time, but during the day now when I'm working, I have like the Monterey Bay Aquarium's like sea otter cam mm -hmm. up, just watch them. <clears throat> And I think they should pivot to Twitch. Oh. Because I, because I watch enough of it that I've got to have enough channel points to highlight to make them. the waters do something. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. No, not highlight a message. <laughs> How many channel points do you think it would take for them to set up a boxing ring and let them fight? Man, I don't know. I, I think Twitch would be against that. I don't think you could do animal fights on TOS. Oh, okay. I, I think that's against Sorry, TOS. We'll put, a, we'll, put a hot, we'll put a hot tub in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There and you go. Some, I just say, yeah, I just, yeah. woman, it'll be fine. No, it'll be fine. It's it. It doesn't matter. It, it, who gives a shit? <laughs> it's not on there. What you need to be pulling up is that shark tracker that tracks them across uh, the ocean no. and the one turtle. Uh -uh. <laughs> Why would I do that? They keep going missing. There's something out there. There's a, there's a, there's a guy on TikTok that, so convinced. I'm, yeah, I, I <laughs> get a whole bunch of his. But I'm not going to pull up and look at it. I don't need to know when when <laughs> sharks aren't where they're supposed to be. <laughs> you're already not going in the water, so you might as well know where your enemies are. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. I don't know where they're at. They're in the water. No object. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks. I don't know where in the water. And I have no object permanence. Yeah. So if I don't think about them, they don't exist. Now, you want me to think about them all the time? I'll be terrified. You, th you think I'm an anxious fucking disaster right now i'm gonna know where countless sharks are at all times what happens if one goes up a river levi yeah well well the types that can do that are very limited is the good news as far as you know well, as far as i mean science knows they don't have to they don't tell us everything they don't that's true and if I and if I get on Twitter and I'm like, hey guys, this shark's going up the river, it's not supposed to do that. I'm gonna get gaslit by some some fucking marine biologist is gonna be like, actually Sharks are actually you got you're more likely to die by a vending machine than to by a shark. Shut up. <laughs> I mean you know, listen, listen, this is why I don't like bulls, because you know how many ca people cows kill every year? Way too many. Way too many. I believe it. They're large. Yeah. And they're dumb and big. That is, that's my problem with horses. Yeah, no, horses are, horses are worse because they scare easy. They yeah, scare easy. Scare easy. Fuck they're that. so big. They're so big, so fast, so strong. Yeah. Why do you want me to get near one? If I sneeze, it's going to kick me into oblivion. No. I'm taking a hard anti-horse stance. Yeah, that's fair. H horses horses are like if dogs got dumber and were skittish like cats. But also were the size of a fucking F350. But yeah, but yeah they're still but yeah, still horse size. <laughs> Um, it would be like if I took my mom's 120 pound German Shepherd that thinks it's a lap dog, but yeah, fucking sized it up and took its brain out. I don't like their faces. Okay, so so I have good news on your on your shark issue. Those um, in the rivers right now. In the only possible one that could be in a river in the United States 
could be a bull shark. Everything else is on the other side, of, is in the Australia, India side of the planet. You're making me do this. How That's, big are bull sharks? Uh, I mean, they're um, shark size. <laughs> 12 feet long, Levi. Yeah, it's like an alligator. Up to 500 pounds. Listen, listen, 7 to 11 and a half feet. Chesapeake Bay. 500 pounds. Yeah. No, just listen, you're, you won't encounter one ever. Don't look Sorry. into bull sharks also. Don't look into anything about no, no, their information. No, no. Because, um... Are bull sharks mean? Uh, uh, larger size bull sharks are probably responsible for the majority of near shore shark attacks, including many <laughs> bites attributed to other species. Bull sharks are often considered to be the most dangerous yeah. sharks to humans, Levi. They're the most aggressive ones. <laughs> and they're the ones who can be in the rivers. Levi! <laughs> they're not in our rivers, it's fine. Me. Don't oh no, hang on, don't um actually never mind. You're good, don't go in rivers. And they're cannibalistic, Levi. Well that's sharks. Sharks are cannibalistic. Oh, um God. they've I been getting, they've been known to travel <laughs> up the Mississippi River as far as Alton, Illinois. <laughs> Levi, stop, please. <laughs> okay, we're done. We gotta move back on. Um Layout. All right, wait. <laughs> one more thing on the sharks, and then we're going back to the episode. Yeah, I, it's Shark Week's coming. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they keep advertising to me, and it's because I keep talking about Shark Week, and my microphone's like, "Oh, this motherfucker loves Shark Week." Hell yeah, Shark Week. <laughs> I don't. I hate it so much. Who's who? You've seen the ads. Who's the host this year? I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> I, do, I do the thing. Oh, All right. <laughs> I think I think I it's the impractical jokers. All right, I might watch. <laughs> I do the thing with Shark Week ads that I used to do with like scary movie ads. I say used to, but I still do with scary movie ads. Which is, if I see it come up, I find anything else in the room to look at. Yeah. It is the impractical jokers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this week's loser is Sal, so we're feeding him to a great white. <laughs> we're putting him in a we're putting him in a fucking cage. Yeah. They they've got to. They right? gotta. They gotta put one of them in a cage. Alright, uh recent proposals on Aish Kandisha who who they is is often mistributed to like a couple different goddesses through the region. Um most recent is it's likely a Moroccan countess who uh, it, it's been elevated to like more mytho mythological status there. Sorry, I got very focused in on the impractical joker shark week. That's fair. That's the only thing I care about anymore. <laughs> I just want Sal to fall down and fall off the boat. <laughs> all right look i've come around on impractical jokers in the last like year man i would watch every episode that came out for the rest of time if one of those motherfuckers gets bit by a shark so here's the problem that i have with that show if i could see every episode once Absolutely, I will watch that show no problem. But I've seen every episode six or seven times now. And man, is it exhausting. Well, yeah, I bet. Yeah, because it's, uh, man, they're throwing the marshmallows over the fucking shopping aisles into people's carts. And I'm just like, if anyone did that to me, I'd go punch them. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You, no, you wouldn't. No, I no, wouldn't. You wouldn't but I'd be, you would, you would I'd be so goddamn you'd angry. Facebook messenger, and you'd be like, "You'll never believe what this motherfucker did." <laughs> yeah, grocery. I'd be store so today. goddamn I'd be like, angry. 
and you'd be like, someone threw a marshmallow at me, so I left my car and I just went home. I didn't yeah. buy for free. Yeah, I, w- I would do that. I, that second part for sure. <laughs> Meanwhile, me, I'm in such a state right now where if someone threw a marshmallow at me in the grocery store, I'd sit down on the floor and cry until they had to. F- oh my God. Yeah, you're cutting out again. I don't know if, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, let me check. How about now? I mean, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> Just, you know. All right, we're going to start our second one here. Right, um, second one, big plant. Number two, the devouring gourd. Okay. All right, <laughs> Levi. <laughs> We've so, done the shark bit, and now you're gonna make me scared of plants, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we, you know, we did the man-eating tree before, and then I ran across another plant that eats. So I figured yes. we might as well. I made yeah, all of it, every every last drop. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry, I have to go off camera to drink a drink that doesn't uh, reward us in any ways, and no free advertisement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so for the WNBA. <laughs> so according to legend, the devouring gourd of uh, Usambara was discovered by a group of boys that were out playing. They were a uh, solid gourd. They were like, "Look how big it is." Uh, the gourd responded. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, w- if you pluck me, I'll pluck you. Um, boys ran home and told their mother, who refused to believe them, but their sisters insisted uh, on seeing the large gourd, and when they were taken to it, they said that their brothers uh, said, look how big the gourd is getting, and in that time, in that time, the gourd did not respond. And they called, you know, the sisters called the brothers liars kind of thing. Um, and it didn't ever get picked, so it kept growing. It became the size of a house, uprooted itself, and went and ate everyone in the village. <laughs> and then once everyone was eaten, it rolled into the lake. Yep. There's a couple of things happening right now. Uh huh. Well, it's so, so this is like folklore kind of thing. So we got we got to read it as at that at that level. So so firsthand accounts are stories. Uh huh. I don't like it. Knee jerk reaction, gut reaction, mm-hmm. off the off the cusp. Not a fan of it. I have a, I have a continuation here. Because now, the, I, before you go, yeah, 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 it does bring up certain feelings that I can equate to that scene in Jumanji. Okay, the, the good one, old one, the or? good one, the one without Kevin Hart. Okay, the Robin Williams one. The good one. Mm-hmm. Where that big old Venus flytrap with the vines comes out of the fireplace is my knee jerk reaction to this. Okay. Yeah, whereas because that's yeah, that's it's... the only plant I could think about that would eat me. That wasn't I, Venus flytrap, right? I think a little uh little shop of horrors. Cause it, cause the gourd talked. Feed me, Seymour. That, you, you know, no, nothing. Rick Moranis, no, no. Oh my gosh, it's a musical. It's fantastic. Uh, you should check it out. Um, no. yeah. Levi, it's great. I have, I have nine hundred and eighty more episodes of One Piece to watch. <laughs> That's in you, a season and a half of the boys you, left to watch. Yeah, well, the boys is good. Hang on, though. The boys is very. The good. Boys is very good. 
Um, so one war one woman did survive, and she was pregnant. Uh, when her son was born, they lived in the ruins of the village. Uh, when the son got around to asking where his father was, his mother told him he was swallowed by a gourd, which is now in the lake. So the son decided to avenge his father and went out to the lake where he could see the gourd's uh, ears sticking out of the water. He taunted the gourd. Uh... <laughs> the, the kid decided to create climate, like, climate change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm drying that fucking lake up. I'm going to go halt, burn this whole cave full of coal. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna buy so much hairspray. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck this lake right up. Uh, he taunted it, and annoyed and enraged, the gourd got out of the lake. Uh, kid shot a bunch of arrows into it. Tenth arrow killed it. Um, cut it open. All the villagers come out unharmed, and he went on to become oh. the the leader of his people sort of thing it's it's one of those sort of heroic tales um, how, how long how long after he ate them did this boy slice and dice him listen it has to have been long enough for the kid to go where's dad and the mom think the kid is old enough to understand eaten by a gourd and rolled into the lake so and 10 in there? so like 10 i don't know what time do you well, what, old, what age do you old, send kids out enough, on adventures that's what old time enough to to understand the feeling of vengeance yeah yeah revenge but but young enough to be told that he was eaten by a gourd that rolled into the lake and not immediately have his mother hospitalized yeah 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 um, but also not old enough to 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 hate his parents. It's got to be younger than like thirteen. So yeah, I, I'm thinking ten to twelve. Think, yeah, I right right in the Harry Potter Percy Jackson age range of I'm gonna go start an Ash Ketchum gonna go start my adventure. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. That's a long time for them to just be living in that gourd. Just totally fine for ten years. It's like, it's like uh, James and the Giant Peach. Yeah. Oh man, solid, solid film. James and the Giant one. Peach. That's a good one. Scared the crap out of me as a kid. Sometimes yeah, it, did. it did scare me very bad. <laughs> all those, all those stories by Roald Dahl, scary as hell as kids' movies. Um, other carnivorous plants, uh, including a pumpkin. Um, grew over the burial location of an evil shape shifting porcupine, which I did not follow that trail. <laughs> um, yeah, why not? Just didn't get, didn't have time. <laughs> um, That's fair. And it repeated everything that was said to it, and they tried to kill it with an axe, and it ate everyone. <laughs> similar similar situation there. And then if someone tried to kill me with an axe, I'd probably try and eat them. There are poisonous fruits that have uh, arms and legs and wield sh spears and shields also in in this in this in this plant dichotomy that I've been that I've been given to work with. Interesting. The oh, so so there was a. Um, a weird thing with the Aisha Candisha, I need to circle back to. It was the naming okay. thing. Because I was like, how do I say the S with the U over it, right? In like the phonetic spelling out, when you see that on a like a Wikipedia page or something, you see like the letters spelled out, but they'll have like weird asterisks or, or marks over them that are supposed to indicate how you say them. So I looked up what that is and it's the sh sound, right? And it turned out it was because the person who um, talked about the folklore from this. Hang on. I got to pull the article back up. Um, was. Uh, 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 oh, no. Where was it? Uh, 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 uh. Sorry. Give me a second. It was the, no. it was there and then it was gone. Edward uh, Westermatt 
Westermark is Finnish. E D V A R D W E S T E R M A R C K. Edward. Uh is is Finnish and the C H sound in that S comes from that. So that's why it's spelt C H in the way the name is spelt, because there is no like local spelling it was an it was a finnish word that they had to make backwards into moroccan i followed i followed like a weird uh language trail on that really yeah it was just caught it caught me it caught me it caught me really off guard well then they're like i was like oh who's this other person and he's a philosopher and sociologist right and uh, and one of his main subjects of study was incest, and I was just like, "How did? How is this the same person? What do we? How, how do we oh get god, here?" Oh my god, it's Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm. <laughs> it's definitely Topical his dad. Topical humor. <laughs> um, that's all I have for mine now. That's that was the last little uh bit there. Did we have? Let's check the rankings. The listener rankings and see Wait, if we have I, an update. I want to play. Uh huh. What shark is closest to us? It's, what by species? Or... Oh, <laughs> oh! You download the don't download that. Uh, it is a fourteen hundred pound, thirteen foot long white shark. Yeah. Who has traveled 20,000 miles. That's a big looking one. That one's like 500 pounds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's hear the ranking. Um, 4% UK, 2% Australia, 2% Canada, 2% Switzerland, 1% Denmark. If you're sub 1%, you're not getting right off. All right. Get that list. Get, get tell your friends. Um, yeah, that's get those, get those get those fucking numbers up. <laughs> tell your friends. Uh, don't, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Give us stars or whatever. Our age bracket has a new sh- skyrocket of the thirty-five to forty-four demographic. I thought you were gonna say like zero to eight or something. No, zero to seventeen is the number two category. So what did you say it was? Number one. Number one's thirty-five to forty-four. Yeah. They're they're thirty-seven percent, and then zero to seventeen are twenty-eight percent. Nobody over forty-five. Well, I mean, they don't have to. They don't have to work. Oh no. Um. All right, that's all. That's all those I have. There's nothing else interesting. Nothing's changed. We're almost. We're almost at five thousand plays. But other than that, we're not. We don't have anything going on interesting on there. So we should talk about plugging social media and all that stuff. So no. no? Gotcha. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> Willow dot link slash. <laughs> yeah. Our new yeah. sponsor, I tripping and falling. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, you can follow the show on Twitter that I'm bad at man- t- maintaining. Lots of things going on. Uh, at Mothman Podcast. You can follow me personally on Twitter at Baby Mothman. Good at man- maintaining, but that's because I can post whatever I want. Maintaining. And no one's just saying anything to me. Um, you can follow Levi on Twitter at Levi Carver. L e v i s c a r v e r. That's me. You can also follow him on TikTok at the same username. And Levi has told me at 200 follows. Oh no, he's actually cutting out. <laughs> he actually, you actually <laughs> cut out there. <laughs> I 
I said you were going to post hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, you can buy merch like our board nerd shirts or our or our big brown couch hats or our my neighbor mothman koozies or skeleton crew gaming uh beanies at board nerds my that store mothman koozie, perfect for day drinking perfect for day drinking your bottle of crown won't fit in it unfortunately <laughs> maybe if you have like a pint that might fit in it um you can go to boardnerds.store. Yeah, get all that fun stuff. Uh, what else do we have? We have YouTube channels that you can go check out. You can go to the Board Nerds YouTube channel for episodes of this podcast broken out. That kind of works. Um, you can go to the Big Brown Couch YouTube channel for gaming content that's still there. Uh, you can go to the Skeleton Crew Gaming YouTube channel, which is an archive of streams and all that fun stuff. Uh, and you can watch us do this live on Twitch and YouTube. Yeah, we mostly interact with the Twitch chat, though. Like, YouTube chat's bad. Um, so, yeah, go to Skeleton Crew Gaming on Twitch for that. And then we have... Noob Energy. Showing all kinds of fun things I have in my desk. Yeah. Drawers. So, Noob Energy. 10 calories. No sugar. Vegan friendly. Gluten free. You can't hear that, can you? No, not at all. <laughs> Your little circle's not not lighting up. It's not coming through. I wasn't looking at it. I was oh, yeah. trying to have fun with it. Yeah, Mothman 15, Noob Energy. Yeah. You can buy it at FYE. You can buy it at Spencer's Gifts. Yeah, they all honor the Mothman 15. The energy, do you want to have the energy to put that lava lamp you bought at Spencer's Gifts in your butt? You're going to need Noob Energy. Don't turn it on. Those get hot. <laughs> Those Unless get you want hot. To. Hey, we are we are um, we are not legally uh, responsible for anything you do with a lava lamp. We are not associated with Spencer's gifts. We cannot be held liable for anything. Don't put a lava do lamp it. in your body. Do it. <laughs> do it. Um, is that everybody? What else do we have? Uh, follow Coralie, who did yeah. our artwork on Twitter, at Lychan underscore. Uh, let me run a fresh check as of recording. Her commissions are open. Let's go. Fantastic. Uh, so be sure to, yeah, go check that out. Do that. Support support artists. Yeah. Pay your pay pay artists. Pay pay your artists. Don't don't go don't go in someone's DMs and ask them to draw you something. Oh, I'm gonna uh, exposure. I'm I'm just gonna give you exposure. Yeah. Shut up. Exposure exposure's worth nothing. Exactly. Unless it's radiation exposure. Yeah, then it's worth everything. <laughs> you, that's a problem. <laughs> All right, that'll end this episode. Thank you guys for sticking around, hanging out. Uh, I'm uranium. I've marked it. Oh, send us emails at that Mothman podcast. That one. Gmail.com. Yeah. Uh, we have a TikTok too that you can send TikToks to. Um, that I'm gonna start trying to make clips for. You'll get a couple for sure. We'll see. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Y'all have a good night, good day, good whatever. I don't know. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go make another cup of coffee after this. That's fair. I, I gotta mean, order I more noob. Anything. It's it's twelve thirty and I've tripped and fallen twice. <laughs>